Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a collective haul of some plants that I've gotten throughout the week. All of them are from a different place. So uh, let's get to it. First, I wanna to talk to you guys about this tray. So this is, as you can see, I can fit um, a decent amount of plants in there. And I was trying to bring these plants outside and my hands were full and I was afraid of dropping them. So then I remember I had this tray. Look, they all fit in there. So this is pretty, a pretty good tray and it's at the Dollar Tree for a dollar with a um, helicopter going by. So for a dollar, I think that's a great deal. I believe, I think I saw these maybe for $6 at Walmart. So I mean, that's pretty good. So go run to your Dollar Tree and see. I saw them in green, beige, and terracotta pot color. So yeah. So if you guys want to look at that so i will show you very quickly this beautiful worthia uh, i don't know the name because it's not on here um because uh miami coast farms doesn't label them so yeah it's not on here but i'm pretty sure i can google it and um, put it on there but it's not here at all and this is saying that it's heat tolerant um i don't know about that i mean it's probably heat tolerant um, but the, definitely the colors will change i feel like they will get darker so this is better like uh, i would say like in shade or bright light but not super heat so no uh maybe this blade it says outdoors in warmer weather okay anyways guys can you believe that i got this for 374 I couldn't believe it. It's so beautiful. This was at Walmart. They had just gotten um, a big, huge batch of plants. I was so lucky. I actually went there to buy the pot because um, I wasn't 100% decided um, of what pot I wanted to get for this beauty over here. So I said, well, let me see what Walmart has. And I just ended up getting this one just to be safe. I went with terracotta for that big beauty, but I'll show you her in a minute. Just want you guys to be able to enjoy this beautiful horothium if you know the name of it well i'm probably already going to put it on the right here somewhere <laughs> so anyways then i got this one from home depot the other day uh, i already potted it uh, i was lazy and i didn't even change her dirt i kept her in her own dirt i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i won't know only time will tell but this looks like an echeveria but on the pot it said aeonium ss which i googled it and nothing came up so if you guys 100 percent know the name of this one let me know because i tried finding an aeonium that looks like this and i didn't find but i do know that i seen echeverias that look like this so that's one and then um you guys already saw if you saw the video um of home depot uh, no i'm sorry of lowe's you know that I got this at Lowe's. This one was $4.50, so also a great deal. This one was probably $4.50 as well. So yeah, this was so, I like how weird it looks. So I really like that one. This one, thank you to Old Mitten Plants, they do put names on their plant, and it's a Milmularia Crista Red Cap. So yeah, that one's there. And now this beauty, I saw this one when I went to get this one, but I withheld myself. I said, no, let's be good and let's wait. But then I just couldn't stop thinking about her. And I told my daughter about her and I showed her a picture. She's like, mommy, how come you didn't get it? So she'll be excited to see that I got her. To me, this is a pretty big cactus. This is um, the biggest cactus I own. This is my first big, big cactus. I really loved how hairy she is. And then with the crown, like this is definitely a girl to me. Like she's so pretty, she's beautiful. And I would really, really like, I can tell that these probably, I don't know. This one looks like she had already opened up. I'm not sure about these, I can't tell, but it would be nice to get them to open up all in a row. That would be so pretty, a complete crown. So yeah, I'm really excited about this plant. And I didn't buy a big pot for her because I do want her to stay uh, pretty small for now because I do want her indoors. So I got this size of terracotta pot. So yeah, I'm excited to pot these and uh, I can't wait to have them in my house. So um, 
I feel like this cactus I don't need gloves for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab her and do it. Hey guys, so I have great news. I don't know if you guys saw my CSG succulent video. He's on Instagram. Well, that company is on Instagram. You should follow them. And he recently um, posted a video and he said that he's probably gonna get a YouTube channel. So I can't wait to see his YouTube channel and to see what he has to say and all the info that he'll give about the plants. I'm really excited to see, you know, to get as much info and to learn as much as I can from um, from him. So yeah, keep a lookout for that. Uh, if he does, um, whenever he does post his first video, I'll link it down below so you guys can find his um, channel. So that'll be pretty cool. I've already put um, perlite in here. I'm gonna mix that right there. And um, I can't stop looking at her. And that's why she's going to go inside. Yep. So. Going to go ahead and put some dirt in here. I know this is not the best angle, guys. But. That's what I have right now. The wind is blowing that dirt on me. Okay, let's wait for the wind to stop. <laughs> how low she's going to go in there. Ow! I felt that one. I want her to stick up pretty high. There we go. So pretty. I'm going to move these guys aside. So guys, now is the time to go look because spring, you know, is almost here. At least it feels like it's already here, <laughs> here in Florida. To go look at your local stores and see what they have. Or you can just order online. <laughs> I'm gonna make a mess here. So I won't be watering um, this cactus when I'm done because um, she was already watered. Her dirt was pretty moist when I was touching it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait at least a week or a little bit more. Also, when you do water them, the dirt will go down. And um, then you have to add more dirt. Try to t tap it down. Sorry, guys. Making a big old mess here. I end up losing a lot of dirt because of the wind. Whoa, 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 no! My dirt's flying everywhere. Ooh, I have a, I can feel that I have something in my finger, a prickly one. Ooh, yeah, I feel it. I still haven't gotten a good pair of gloves. I keep procrastinating and say, yeah, I'll get one. And then I keep putting it off. I need to get some nice ones. Okay guys, here's this beauty. As usual, once I'm done um, potting all these, I will post pictures at the end. Also, I will link you guys to my Instagram so you guys can see and follow me on Instagram. There we go. Okay, who's next? Let's see if I can pick some of this dirt up. Out of this 
probably gonna come straight out anyways. There we go. Always make sure you look for rot when you're purchasing your plants. You don't wanna get home and be disappointed and have to take it back. Okay. The hardest part about planting these cactus is keeping them clean while you plant them. You guys should check out my fairy garden video that I did with the girls. The girls are pretty funny while I'm away looking for stuff on the camera. I, I noticed that they were being silly. So yeah, they're pretty silly. This one is a really, it has really shallow roots. There's my dirt flying everywhere. go deeper I don't know which way I want her to face I think that's I don't know no I want her to face like that Pain in the booty. It's going to be a lot of brushing off. Same thing, all these will go down when you water, and then you what is it called? Add more dirt as needed. Maybe if I leave it out here on the table with all the wind, maybe it'll, it'll clean it up. Maybe she'll get clean. There she goes. She's potted up. This one's really cute. We got this one at Walmart. It says stuck on you. This is only a dollar twenty-four, I believe. That was pretty good. So yeah. And that's a cutie. Okay, now for the whole idea. This one is super wet. Look at the roots though. They look really nice. Nice and white. Look really good. This Horthia is soaked though. She is so soaked. Now, I went, um, a lot of the plants, a lot of the succulents were rottening. And I was telling the lady, she was there. She was like, why are they watering these? She goes, I don't know why they water. She's like, I've told them not to water them, leave them alone. She's like, I never water them when I'm here. So yeah, at least she knows, you know? So what I'm trying right now is the fatter the succulent is, um, the more water they hold in their leaves, then the more perlite I'm going to put in their dirt. So that's what I'm doing um, to be safe. This one has a lot of roots and is very compact, so I don't want to mess it up. As you guys can tell, I'm a chatty person. Just think of me as, you know, if you're home and maybe 
you find yourself sometimes alone or whatever reason you are watching videos, I'm just keeping you company. There's so many people that live alone for whatever reasons, you know, and you know, they look to YouTube for company. So if you're one of those people, then welcome to my channel and <laughs> enjoy the chattiness. I'm a very super friendly person. I'm the type of person that if I see you um, shopping for succulents or whatever, I'm like, so what are you doing? What are you making? <laughs> I'm super friendly like that. Um, I'm not afraid of rejection. I'll reach out. My dog's still here. Did she go inside? I think she was inside. I don't know. I don't see her anymore. I have three dogs. And the youngest dog I have, she's um, six. She's the closest to me right now. I got her when she was one and a half. I rescued her. So she is like always wanting to be around me. Sometimes she gets in trouble because she's just too excited and hurts me. She jumps on me and hurts me. I bruise easily. So she's always bruising my legs. Oh, this one is work. I'll tell you that much. Because I feel holes everywhere. I'm going to break the thing here. Okay, guys. She needs to be fixed a little bit, but I'll do that in I'll do that when I'm done. And then I'll take pictures and then you guys can see. Okay guys, so this was my small haul, my collective haul and my potting. Thank you so much for watching and and supporting me and just hanging out with me. Anyways guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.